We're here today to talk about strategies that we can adopt in West Virginia to grow jobs in the innovation economy, where knowledge and entrepreneurship and collaboration all come together. West Virginia has a tremendous opportunity ahead of it. To do that, we have to invest in three things, education, infrastructure, and entrepreneurship. If we lean into STEM in our schools, if we get broadband connectivity for the state, and if we build a great environment for small businesses to thrive and, and survive, we have a real opportunity to build the next chapter of great for West Virginia. I think as universities, we have to do a better job of taking the message of the excitement of science and the careers in science out to students. West Virginia is a very special place in the sense that, you know, black, white, rich, or poor, um, you basically learn to embrace a single culture, which prepares you perfectly. Uh, for the dynamic world of technology where you've got to be very open-minded for change, um, very focused on, on solving the problem at hand, and the culture lends itself perfectly for entrepreneurial innovation. What we're figuring out is that somehow our whole country, great states like West Virginia, have to make the development, the early identification and development of entrepreneurship much more systematic. We're doing a really good job with innovation. The problem with innovation is unless there's a customer standing next to it, the innovation doesn't have any value. So we need another highly systematic institution of thought leadership about how to develop the people that create businesses. We have to realize that the next chapter for our youth is to be invested in STEAM. We have as much talent here as any other state in the nation. We just have to invest in those students and give them the opportunities to thrive right here in the state of West Virginia. We're working um, to actually serve the state through extension, through economic development services, particularly training around entrepreneurship. We also have launch labs in Morgantown and in Beckley, and the launch labs are open to entrepreneurs anywhere in the state to come and actually get the kind of coaching that they need. They can get legal services, they can get trademark protection, all in these one-stop shops. So we, we very, very seriously about not only the big picture in terms of diversification, but also reaching out to individuals who may have great ideas and who need the support of the university. For us to be able to capitalize on everything that's happening through the internet and all the pervasive opportunities ahead of it, we have to have broadband connectivity. And I'll tell you, we don't have to figure this out on our own. I mentioned a few minutes ago, it used to be called plagiarism. Now it's called benchmarking. Entrepreneurship and, 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 and when folks can get behind it culturally as a state, it's the law of physics. Energy creates more energy. This is the house that built me. West Virginia is the state that made anything that I've ever accomplished possible. And it's my opportunity to come back and share what I've learned and try to invest in the next chapter of great for this state.